Welcome back to the show. This is Easy Friday. My name is Shiksha Aurora and thank you for watching. If you've just tuned in, well, you've come at the right time because with me, I've got Eli and Oscar from Man Talk Kenya. The hashtag is Easy Friday. Talk to us. You can get your questions in. These two, let me tell you something. I've heard the conversations. I've listened to them speak about um, very crucial topics and things that normally we don't hear men talk about. So, which is why I thought it's the right time to have this conversation right here. And without further ado, let's introduce the amazing guests for the night, Eli and Oscar. Hey. Thank you for having us. Thank Mantar you. Kenya. Thank hey. you so much. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited I'm, about I'm this. very excited as well. Yeah? yeah. Very excited. Thanks for the call. Thank you. Thank you call. for coming. It's a pleasure to host you. Eli, um, you know, you can hear from the accent. Mm -hmm. Very nice and British. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, he is somebody who I've really grown to like over the last few months, especially because of his taste in, in a lot of things, you know, like he likes the finer things in life. Of and of course, the things that you say as well, mm -hmm. uh, I really think a lot of people can relate to those uh, things and, you know, the conversations mm -hmm. that you have with Oscar, of course, yeah. it's amazing. You uh -huh. studied public health. Yes. Right? Yes. yes and now yes. you're doing content creation, content creation uh, a lot, basically. Yeah, exactly. A bit of business, a bit of content creation. Mm -hmm. um, but for today, it's definitely about like man talk. Okay. So this is... This is probably the most enjoyable thing that I do in my week, if I'm being honest. Um, so yeah, came from the UK, I've come here. After interacting with a lot of people, I realised that this is a space that we can occupy. And then me and the boy occupied it. Oscar <laughs> 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 oh, as well, who by the way, is a lawyer. Yes, that I am. He's a full-time lawyer. I am a full-time lawyer. He's always wearing the suits, just by the way. So if you need somebody to help you out in the corridors of justice, <laughs> you can talk to me yeah, later. Uh, how, Shiksha, how did you ever find out about the corridors of justice? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very specific I sentence. I always, always, you know, do my research. Oh, you do. Yes, you do. Oscar. She's a fantastic interviewer, she is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, Oscar, tell me, how did your journey with Mantok begin? Take me to the top. Where did it start? Okay, for me, yes. um, actually, I joined Man Talk mid-season, the first season, oh, um, oh. and at that time, I had no social media. Really? Yeah, like, nah, yeah, facts. Wait, like, oh, wait, wait, how old were you at that time? 24? 24, and you had no social media yeah, at all? I, I had no social media at all. Wow. So, the thing... How did you live? How did you survive? I know, yeah. I asked the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> we, that's why we decided to do the first episode of Man Talk mm. okay. together, okay. and at that time, um, there were more of us, but now oh. it's just me and Eli. Um, and I joined that episode and then when me and Eli had that conversation and started interacting I was like this is a very impactful podcast absolutely in fact when we met I think we met at uh, I was having a meeting with a few prospective clients and then they were discussing oh. Man Talk at, the time. at the time and I wasn't wow. like a, yeah. yeah and I wasn't a member mm. and then I walked up to them um, shout out to Martin and and Nick, and Nick oh. the boys um, so Nick um, runs a barber shop called Castro's Man Cave. Interesting. And he wanted to start a podcast. I told him, looked at this space and said, I'm, I'm one of your customers, but okay. this place is perfect for a podcast. And he was like, I'll, I'll hook you up. I, there's actually an idea we've been working on some of my boys. Right. Let's do it together. And then once we started working together, it just became like co clockwork. Oh. I mean, oh. the jump shot was Kobe Bryant. It was just like all the yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Eli, maybe you can take me through a little bit of what Man Talk really is for those of, mm. uh, you know, for people who don't really know and haven't really watched or heard you on yeah. Mantalk. Yeah. Um, what exactly is Mantalk and what are some of the topics that you guys discuss? Okay, it's, it's, it's very broad, but um, when we, the inception of Mantalk, the meeting we had when we first met, was we all had a passion about having conversations as guys that aren't really had. There's a lot we talk about, but we don't get to the nooks and crannies okay. of topics. So we all had that idea that we wanted to start that and be the leaders in terms of, because we had a lot of people that looked up to us, like Martin had a following, the barbershop is an environment where guys go and they start talking. So we right. all merged all of that. Oscar had the idea of saying, you know, I think a barbershop is perfect for it. So all of that came together and we said, okay, let's start conversations. The goal of it was just to show a bit more vulnerability mm -hmm. and say that it's okay to be mm -hmm. vulnerable. But that was the goal, but a lot of things have happened since then. So there's now fun that happens on the podcast. There's a lot of interaction with a lot of ladies because they like to come and find out what Man Talk is about, what yeah. a guy's thinking. So it's, it's turned into its own like beast. Okay. It was definitely about vulnerability and starting conversations. Okay. But now the topics that we t tackle are... It ranges. We'll talk about, you know, fun issues in terms of dating and then we'll go 
really deep talk about things like GBV right. and then bring experts especially for that sort of thing mm -hmm. and then mental health issues and fitness lifestyle it's so broad because we feel like if you stay in one lane mm -hmm. there's other people that want to hear different things from mm. you so that's how we've evolved we tackle absolutely everything so we go live on Thursdays have a lot of fun there but then mm. we have pre-recorded for the podcast and we choose a topic that we think is relevant it's yeah. amazing it's broad it's yeah broad. just a little bit more to that yeah um, when Eli and I sat down and mm. decided to, there was a period when it was just me and him, okay. and we decided to take the brand to a new level. So mm. we decided to define what Mantok actually is. Mm. Mm. And we decided to say, a lot of attention has been put towards men being toxic, like yes. masculinity yes. in its toxic sense. Especially here in Kenya. Yeah, yes. like yes. The, yes. the term being a man has had a negative yes. con connotation for a long time. Mm. And we were like, we have to set out to change that mm. because there's a lot of young men mm. who are out in this country doing the right thing and they Absolutely. don't get the attention they deserve. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we put in a philosophy called positive masculinity that we discovered. Mm -hmm. um, and that, was, um, that philosophy is based on three things. Okay. So the first thing is emotional intelligence. Yeah. That men have to agree to be more emotionally intelligent. Mm. Like to come at decisions, let's say you see like how they interact with women for example, shouldn't just come from a place of this is what I want, these are right. my needs, but they should come with a place of empathy. Mm -hmm. This is what our, our women need, this is what our children need, this is what we as leaders want. Mm -hmm. um, and let's, be, let's open the gate for men to be emotionally vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Now the second um, pillar is for um, community development like men need to take the charge when it comes to what type of values and value systems do they want in place in their communities okay. yes so that's the second one then the third one is about us as men being vulnerable to each other as men you see a lot of the negative aspects that happen in our society as men a lot of what society calls toxic is just men trying to outdo or shine above or mm -hmm. you know there's a lot of testosterone that's actually a very interesting um, yeah. you know point that you've raised right now because when we talk about vulnerability in men you know when you're at the barber shop or when you go out for drinks right. with you know your peers or your friends exactly. and you have conversations right it's usually as you said about outshining each other yeah. so if somebody makes a statement the other person person tries to outdo the other by making an even stronger yeah. statement yeah. Um, yeah. and sometimes I feel like it just goes to a different mm. length and like yeah. extremes rather yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's where I feel that men in general um, don't have the clear direction mm. on mm. what exactly they want to you know talk about in mm. terms of uh, very sensitive topics, right? Mm. So I feel like at times, you know, these are the things that you guys have talked about. You've advised your peers and your friends and people of mm. your age in general, the millennials, as we call mm. ourselves, mm -hmm. um, how to tackle such situations. Yeah. So what exactly is your say on the matter? Okay, so it's a very good point you've raised. Like yeah. that idea that men, the conversations we have aren't substantial a lot of the time. Absolutely. And even in terms of on digital social media where we're based, mm. there's so many negative examples of men. There's so many toxic conversations that we needed that breath of fresh air. And that's Indeed. exactly what we wanted to do. And we found that being at a decent age where we're still relatable to younger people, we can and get respect older from older people. Yes. We wanted to be that bridge okay. where we can say, let's talk about these topics and see if you relate. Mm. And we think through repetition, we can maybe change the narrative that guys mm. have and be able to say that, okay, if you're going through something, rather than going to a bar, go and have a real conversation with a friend. Go yes. somewhere, go drive somewhere. Yes. It doesn't have to always be the stereotypical macho man thing. Yes. And it goes down to even the last episode we did. Things like self-care. Mm. These are stuff that we try to tackle because the whole, a man is holistic and I feel like a lot of the time we emphasize on just the typical masculinity, mm -hmm. but we don't emphasize on everything that makes you the optimum human. And we think wow. that's where we try to... The optimum human. Optimum human. The optimum human. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm learning a, a lot already. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the, Oscar. The, the entire basis of what we want to achieve as Mantok is oh. to just have a community of more compassionate, yeah. more enlightened, oh. and better men. And, oh. and you know, the thing about it is, it's not that men are worse of worse today. It's just yeah. that I feel like men today just don't get as celebrated as often, yeah. simply because there True. are a few bad apples. Yeah. True. So there's a lot of men who are watching this from home. Mm. And like the question is, how often do you celebrate your dad on Father's Day? Mm. How often do you tell your dad that you, you love, love him? You love him. Yeah. Yes. yeah there you see. Yeah. So yeah. just I was just coming to that. <laughs> yeah. Those, those, <laughs> those, those, yeah. Those those opportunities to show men empathy. Yes. Are aren't happening as often and what's the impact the impact is that suicide rates among men has increased mm. because men feel as if they're not appreciated in our society they're today. alone yeah, yeah. they're not recognized yeah. and that leads to this whole gender war 
kind of dialogue mm. and man talk was like whoa what are we doing here mm. as a society as a community it's not me against you it's about me and you okay. working Coming together, together. Yeah. Yes. and building a community that's stronger yes. oh, yeah. yeah and it's interesting that you've mentioned that you know how often do you tell your dad you love him mm -hmm. and how often do you as a man you know tell somebody that you love them mm. are you guys vulnerable enough to do so do you do that yourselves so I'll call if you go to our bio. Okay. It says, honest and elevating conversation. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be very honest, uh, Shiksha. Yes. On national honest. television. <laughs> On national television. When is no the Alice. last time you told your dad that you loved him, mm -hmm. Eli? Um, okay. Okay. So we are imperfect human beings. <laughs> we, are this, we are on this journey together. Okay. Um, but generally, showing that transparency that we're learning right. in real time, we're trying to get better real time. Man Talk has helped me, even mm. though I'm one of the hosts. It's helped me be more intentional with my father. Okay. The last time before I came back uh, from the UK, I took my dad out for coffee, and it was because of mantle. Because I've been saying all of this, and I was like, I need to practice what I preach. Yes. And we sat down, and yes, at the end, I said, I love you. Aww. A few months ago, but I haven't seen him for a while. Dad, I still love you. <laughs> um, and. I managed to ask him all the questions I've always wanted to, but that's because I've been able to vocalize my thoughts mm. and my emotions through the podcast. Okay. So Man Talk has really helped me. So I'm, we're trying to learn in real time and let other guys learn with us. So we're not perfect, and that's Amazing. the whole point of it. We're trying to figure it out all together. What about you, Oscar? Yeah. Uh, first of all, Dad, <laughs> Dad, I love you. Oh. Done. Done. That's it. Done. 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 No other questions. <laughs> no other questions. It's a wrap. Yeah, it's done. But like the truth is, uh, me and my dad have a very tight relationship. He comes the way me and him relate is mm -hmm. mainly or not it seems more like a friendship basis okay mm -hmm. and where we connect most is business mm -hmm. um oh. because i really like that's where i feel like i get a yeah. lot of it from yeah. um the fact that he has had so much acumen in his life mm -hmm. he's had to try and achieve so much in his life like coming from meru and coming to nairobi and try to build a life for us here yes. as a young man i feel like me and him that's where we meet the yeah, most that's where, that's where our minds meet the most and yes. he's also a lawyer Oh, um, so you runs know, in the family. Yeah, it does. Yes. Uh, my mom is also a lawyer. My sister is also a lawyer. If Oscar does not get married to, to a, a lawyer, lawyer. I quit. I quit. This is gonna be. <laughs> First of all, guys, you've already <laughs> married me off <laughs> on in, national television. In future, you, you just, you just five, married me years, off. Yes, you know. Please uh, send uh, applications. Uh, shout out to the Law Society of Kenya to that day. But like, but the truth is. um I feel like my dad, my relationship with him is it. I feel the vulnerability comes with time, okay. and you know, as we grow, Fair. as yes, as we grow as human beings, especially as young men, we begin to see our parents as not necessarily perfect. perfect like our dads yes. are not superheroes yes. or un mm -hmm. unbeatable; that they're also human. Mm -hmm. And you know, that empathy comes from your own growth, and that's what Man Talk kind it's of gave about. me. Like yes. I, I managed to look at my parents and the relationship around the people who are my mentors and mm. say these are also human beings who have to make life and death decisions sometimes and their own life choices every day right. and sometimes those choices are imperfect and so you shouldn't like place a burden or judge them for that because yeah. you know your dad's your dad that's not yeah. going to change any time so we love you dad yeah, yeah. love yeah. it in the beginning when you guys started off i mm -hmm. remember i would watch you know your lives on instagram mm -hmm. and i used to feel inspired as well because mm -hmm. um the positive conversations that you guys had it was very refreshing it was mm -hmm. Different and it's something that we hadn't seen, you know, on social yeah. media before. Yeah. Um, was it hard to get to a level where people actually understood your 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 um, notion and, of course, understood what you wanted to do with it yeah. Yeah. We, and the direction you were yeah. trying to take? Because sometimes mm. people must be thinking these guys are doing it for clout. They're yeah. just doing it for fame. Yeah. They're going to get famous, yeah. and that's the end of it. Are they yeah. really the people that we see live? Mm, mm. We we get that a lot. Like when they luckily track record immaculate when yeah. you're like you're actually Speckless. exactly the same yeah. and it's come from a place that when we did it obviously numbers is a big thing yeah. on social media and for us trying to get more numbers was about impact okay. not about clout right and when there wasn't numbers if you look at our, uh, our, our phone records it's just me and him yeah. hyping each other up we see the goal That's amazing. we see what we're trying to do yeah. even though there's like Okay, back in the day, there was like 20, and I was like 200 people joining the live. Wow. But when there was the 20, after live, how was that? Every live, how was that? How was it for you? Do you yeah. think it made impact? I think we did this, let's do this better. And through that, regardless of numbers, regardless of impact, or, or not, not impact, sorry, but regardless of numbers, we knew that what we're doing is correct. Mm. And it's just a time thing. Even now, we're on the journey, and it's a time thing. More people need to hear the conversations we're having, hence coming here. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. I think for me i think what really was when i knew this thing was special yeah. was when he left for england and i was left in kenya and you guys used to still have those conversations yeah, exactly. through Zoom. in yeah. fact that was that was the innovation let me tell you the innovation of the life yeah was the fact that yeah, he, he had left 
and I was in Kenya and unfortunately I was on all at the time um, and I was like okay so I'm in quarantine mm. and he's abroad well, how can we make how this happen, we make and, this then work. happen. and then and then mm. there was a GBV mm. incident mm. Mm. and everyone who knew us just the 20 mm. or the the 20 or 100 went came to us and said yo there's been a GBV are you gonna talk about are this? you gonna yes. talk about this Pressure. is this a topic that's beyond yes, you yeah. Yeah. and this like is where you had to prove yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, we that we are really are about and it's about, not about yeah. antagonizing anyone yes. it's mm. not about you versus you no it was more of Let's educate people. Let's pull out the research mm-hmm. because that's what we do. Like mm-hmm. uh, he has a public health background. That's when we decided to keep doing the lives. Mm. And then and w- it's crazy because, you know, GBV is such a heavy topic. Heavy. Yeah, it is. We and nervous. people actually listened to you. People, yeah. you know, related yeah. to what you were saying. People mm. understood wh- mm. what, you know, you were trying to show and you, what mm. you're trying to teach and, and educate yeah, people. It was with. all um, research Amazing. papers. Yeah. And, and the, I think the best thing that for us that we saw was just the amount of impact that had. Um, mm. in our DMs yes. where people were like oh my god finally we can feel safe to live in a society together mm. um, and we also worked with other influencers and I remember one of the influencers we worked with said that she doesn't feel safe walking home at night yeah. wow yeah. and then like it was like what mm. and this is one of the most confident people you can ever come across that yeah. she runs to the gate like she parks her car mm. with the keys in her hand yeah with yeah. the keys in her hand and runs to the gate mm. and, like, and that for us was like wait a minute mm. this thing podcast that we started it's starting to get Mm. a little bit serious like yes. and you know once you get to that point and we were oceans apart mm. it was like yo bro we can't let this die out it's not about money yeah. it's not about fame it's mm. about like people's lives are actually being touched by exactly. this yeah. Yeah. and we, so that's why we make time like mm. i have a full time job that mm. i like i i am fully dedicated right. to mm. but like th- those Two three hours before mm. I sleep, yeah. like I make sure that I have some time to l- interact with people on the live. Mm. Um, shoot an episode in the weekends. Like we have no weekends. No zero. We have no yeah. weekends. Yeah. It's just but it's worth it. It's back so to back. it's so rewarding. And one of the things with the GB thing, GBV is we realize that we are actually a vehicle. Like we're mm. just a channel and a vessel to be able to say things that maybe. Th- the guys would want to say but they're too scared yes so by doing that we're kind of given agency to them mm. for them to say okay maybe i can say this yeah. is wrong yeah. but if they're just occupied with other guys that are just laughing about a topic mm. then they're never going to get to that space yeah. never. so it's been so rewarding being those guys it's been yeah. so rewarding Amazing. And, and it's not just like it's an ecosystem of men yeah. who actually like right now yeah we like the obviously because of the collaborations we've done and we became a bit more strategic um we've met a lot more people who are like-minded right mm. i can tell you that right now there's a network of people who actually mm. care about these issues yeah and wow. it's and we are not it's not about man talking. Are these yeah. young people yes it's, it's, there's a scope as well there's a scope yeah. i bump into like 30 30 mid 30s and i bump into teens yeah. there's a there's a big scope it's a yeah. huge wow. so it's, it's a huge very, amount you know broad yeah, yeah. yeah. and it, it's it's full spectrum mm. it's full Amazing. spectrum mm. so yeah for us as man talk we what inspires us is the people's stories yeah and when they come to us and share with them their stories of bravery i was just i was literally just getting to that <laughs> because, you, know, you mentioned that somebody shared she isn't comfortable you know going home late at night walking mm. at night mm. um because she feels unsafe and mm. this is a very personal piece of information right yeah, yeah. the fact that she's opened up to you mm. and she's able to tell you all of this in confidence and mm. you know you're able to do something with this yeah. um and, and talk about it mm. and of course get other people to react to the same and share their experiences i yeah. think it's special yeah. so how long was it before people started opening up to you i'm sure right now you get dms asking you about oh me. i broke yeah. up with my girlfriend what do i do well, uh, <laughs> you know such situations shout I'm out sure, toxic thursday, yeah, toxic thursday. Yeah. Sure people have you know yeah. such conversations about yeah. you about their day-to-day lives yeah. so do you really answer those questions funny, and how do you yeah. go about such scenarios when you should say that so we realized that there is a mass of questions that we needed a way to get i can them, imagine right? um, because what we've done is we created such a safe and environment that people feel that they can reach out to us um so through seeing all these dms we had to sit down and say how do we structure this so yeah. we go live every thursday we also have our episodes that go on podcasts and youtube but with the lives we said okay let's dedicate a section to where anyone sends their dilemmas and as a community because of the safe space we all chip in and we all come up with a solution what Love happens it. with that is the stories 
they're sometimes very serious like, yeah. and we can go to that place because we've done the time we, we know how to navigate conversations but there's also it's such a fun place as well mm. because not every dilemma is like that serious some dilemmas are quite funny and the community enjoy that experience together the interactive experience yeah. so that's how we've been able to use the the input that's coming in from the questions mm -hmm. and yeah. give a really positive outf output with the community yeah, but yeah. that's fantastic because yeah. the other thing that we also need to note is there are some stories that are actually tragic so yeah. what we try to do is connect them mm. Mm. with people who are professionals because because yeah. right. Eli and I understand that we are not professionals yeah. yes. um, and what we're trying to do and what we're trying to achieve mm. um, is very much based on like our ability to have a safe space as a platform yeah. so you feel safe enough to come and talk to us exactly. and we feel safe and we listen to you with empathy mm -hmm. and say okay this is this is something we will say okay like f what we always do before we present the the you know the mm. the toxic question yeah. on the toxic thursdays right. which is like you know the funny questions um is we'd let you know that this is what we think and then we're like do you do you get where we are yes. like, can we share this on a live it'll be completely anonymous yes. yeah what do you so you can get other people's thoughts and these guys are yeah and then mm. when they come on the live and just see how the community is they just really laughing know. at everything they're even they feel it, yeah. even they feel a bit mm. like yeah, yeah. i might have taken this a bit too serious yeah, yeah. okay yeah. interesting yeah. um let's talk about finances <laughs> okay. you know you know when we when we have any project right yeah. to keep it running to sustain it you mm. need to get a budget allowance you need to be able yeah. to make money yeah. to mm -hmm. be able to keep delivering mm -hmm. right so has there ever been a time where you know both of you were like wow this is not working out mm. did you ever feel like giving up or has it always been very smooth sailing up until two months ago okay. for two years we paid for everything right wow and for two whole years for two years we paid for everything and that's because we really believed in what we're doing and we knew that everything takes time luckily in both of our uh, personal lives we're quite lucky to be able to have the resource to put into mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. and also have the foresight and the patience and the dedication because okay. that spans across everything in your life right 100 percent. exactly so we brought that now into the podcast and said no matter how long it takes we're going to keep putting the money and keep putting the, putting the money in so that we manage to get really high quality content for people to enjoy and also help so in terms of points where we wanted to quit there's been points where maybe one of us feels, you know, you sent off proposals, and you want to yeah. jump on board, and you get nothing back, and one of us feels down, the other one will say no. Remember, if he feels down, I'll say no. Remember, if I feel Brotherhood. down, exactly. So we yeah. just yeah. love to see let, it. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Do you know the one thing I think that's pushed us? Uh -huh. yeah. And I'll say it on national television: ego. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a healthy dose. Really? Yeah, a healthy, like, yeah. Because tell me more. For yeah. us, it was. We can't fail. We can't fail. Can't fail. That was can't a sentence. Fail. Failure no. is not yeah. going to happen. I'm not. Yeah. Like, no. me, are you going me. to call? Are you going to me, say? Me. Are you going to say that you're the guy who started the podcast that failed? You're the guy who I quit on fail. the podcast. What happens to mental? What happens? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a quitter. Yeah, I'm Never. a winner. Yeah. How, how on earth? Like, yeah. and yeah. you know the thing about it is like. The, let, let me take you back to when like he was in the mm. country yeah. so we like our team and shout out to our team oh, our team shout out to Beryl and the team mm -hmm. and Becky out mm -hmm. um, out in, in England our team sat down and used to shoot his content mm -hmm. out in in, in, in the okay. UK shoot my content okay combine the combine two combine the two wow. we watched that yeah remove the bits and make sure that everything goes efficiently mm. Amazing. Yeah. so and that is Tough, tough <laughs> to do. And uh, please rem remember that we're recording audio with an iPhone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. My, I bought mic, didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't work. Didn't work. Brilliant. Didn't work. At, didn't work. at that yeah. point, that was when we were like, yeah, yeah. If yeah. we can survive this, yes. uh, out, and we were consistent, mm. didn't miss. A, we what? We didn't miss. Didn't maybe miss a one. week. Maybe a week. Maybe. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, consistency is consistency. definitely key because people keep yeah. saying, be consistent with social media, be consistent yeah. with everything in life, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like you two are living examples of you know consistency coming uh, coming to a, a point where it's actually paying off yes and i feel like that's what you two have done so mm. kudos on that Thank well done you. congratulations Thank you. Thank you. Hey, and uh, what would you like to tell anybody who's watching right now who you know is the point where they want to give up especially as a man you know there's mm -hmm. certain things that we don't talk about mm -hmm. as men don't you know they don't like to share with their partners they don't mm -hmm. like to share with their sisters and friends who are females mm -hmm. and they like to keep it to themselves right so do you think you can get them to open up as man talk <clears throat> to get more vulnerable yeah yeah um in terms of the the if they feel like giving up yeah i think one thing i found i've i've failed at a lot of things right and i'm still very young and i'm going to fail at more okay. but i feel like when you look at every failure back then on the other side of that what did you learn like what did you mm. come out with if you look like look at it like that then when you see a failure coming or you're in a failure you think wait a minute this is a lesson not a loss right, right. so that's one of the things i i definitely help Amazing. uh in terms of your question of being vulnerable and opening yes. up I would say if you can't do it, 
come to our platform, see how guys talk, mm. see how guys be able to like steer a conversation. And even if you're, if it's, it's tough, you can see somebody that looks like you doing it. And seeing that a lot of like for a long period of time helps you be able to do it as well. So come to Mantalk. That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah like yeah. follow, share, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the truth is, yeah. I think the one thing that we've learned, um, mm. even as men, not yeah. just as mentor hosts, is mm -hmm. vulnerability strength. strength. Vulnerability yeah. strength. strength. Um, as men, we need to realize that being vulnerable does not mean crying and wailing, yeah. but it means just being open and honest with yourself right. enough to be able to see the world as it really is yeah. and share that reality that you're occupying with someone in your life. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Because that can save a life. Yeah. That can save a life. Like literally, talking to someone about what you're going through can save a life. As young men, we go through a lot, yeah. mm -hmm. but society always goes with this phrase, Akono mama, yes. which means that he's, he's like a, yes. a, a mama, a woman. Mm. And, and like for men, you shouldn't allow that to enter you 100%. and penetrate who you are. <coughs> and to be honest, live your life. Live your life and be yourself. And before mm. we wrap up mm. quickly, what is your vision for Man Talk? Mm. The next like, 10 years, <sighs> where do you see Man Talk mm. taking you? taking me i just want it to impact more people okay. because and i want to grow at the same time because mm. like we said we're growing and i feel like doing this more interaction with people more i'll get better i'll get more vulnerable i'll get better at being a, a man mm -hmm. the optimum man we're talking about and be able to give that to other people and maybe younger guys even older guys can look and say okay i'm taking something from this and it's helping my life in right. some way because you never know the impact you're having because the stories we hear we're shocked yeah. And you think it's just me? I just said that. This is just You're something not alone. I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A body of work that we can look at and be proud of, mm. yeah. in the sense that, like, we can see that people are actually changing their lives based on what we say and our experiences. Right. Because we're not perfect. Exactly. We're also yes. growing as men. Figuring it out. And for us, we're documenting it. Mm. And mm. I just hope that we we manage to change mm. as many lives as we can with this work that we're doing. Yeah. 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 It's amazing. I was just uh, going on Twitter to see some of the comments that are coming through. I've got one that says, being open and honesty with yourself can also save a life. Yes. That's from Rashid. Mm -hmm. Another one um, that says, Catherine says, not all ego is bad ego. A healthy dose of ego has kept us going. Wow. Yeah. Those are the words of yeah. Eli and Oscar. Yeah. She's <laughs> quoted you. Um, and uh, somebody says that uh, we only show them we appreciate everything, but saying it is an absolute no i don't know what that means Father but knows. how often yes yeah. how often do you tell your dad you love him so the answer is we only show them we appreciate everything but saying it is an absolute no another one from daniel who says never had a dad but my mom taught me how to go about it all how to love a woman how to know a woman and how to fight the strength of a woman down with love showers mm -hmm. and respects to that woman that's, that's a yeah. sweet, boy. sweet boy that's sweet from boy. daniel yeah, like um it. yeah so lots of messages coming mm, in and amazing. i'm so glad that you know we got to do this we got to talk about these conversations yes. um again lastly before we wrap up i don't know if we have enough time but if we do quickly what is the hardest conversation that you've had to have eli and what about you oscar on man talk yes on man talk it was gbv okay it was really heavy because i love my mom i love my sister very yes. dearly yes. and when you're thinking about a woman mm -hmm. when you have a situation you obviously go to if that happened to your mom and daughter right. so keeping the it together you're closest to. exactly mm -hmm. keeping it together i actually got a bit emotional in one of their lives mm -hmm. you get angry and you feel like sometimes it's futile, but you mm. have to just try and keep pushing the message. So GBV for me was tough. Okay. Tough. What about you, Oscar? Yeah. Same one. Yeah. yeah. Same one. Because yeah. I remember just the sensitivity mm. around the whole issue. Because you have to remember that at the time we were doing it, there was an incident that happened on a radio yes. station. Yes. yes. And we had, like, a lot of people came to us saying, oh, my God, what do you think? And we had to fight to yeah. keep our emotions in mm. check mm. and give value in, uh, mm. in the end. And I, I don't know if we achieved it, but... We did. Just a quick one. I also, yes. it made me have to have really tough conversations with my mother and my sister. Amazing. And hear stories. I was like, huh? Yeah. You've never said this, but now we're having yeah. the conversation. That's Amazing. really tough as well. Thank yeah. you so much for coming. This it has been, been an absolute pleasure. I mm -hmm. hope you enjoyed the conversation that we had right here. Yeah, as yeah. much as I enjoy your conversations on Man Talk. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you haven't checked them out, please do mantalk.ke, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. On right. Instagram, that's where they are. They have conversations every Thursday. They go live. Toxic Thursday <laughs> is my favorite. <laughs> you need to watch them. You need to be able to, you know, engage with what they have to say. And as a man, if you're looking for someone, you know, to be able to listen to you, these guys will do the listening and then you can do the talking. All right, that's it from me. Thank you so much once again. This has been Easy Friday. My name is Shiksha Aurora and we'll do this next time. Same place, same time. Good night. I'll see you next week.